Hi guys, it's uh, Lee here with some uh, simple, effective search engine optimization tips and techniques um, that you can use on your website to get yourself some uh, really good results with the, uh, the search engines. Um, the site that I'm going to be using to demonstrate these uh, tips and techniques uh, was designed by myself about six months ago and it gives you a really good basis and understanding um, for how to incorporate these um, ideas into your own sort of website. Um, so we're going to start with um, the page title. Um, so let's move on to that now. Okay, uh, a website's page title is located within the HTML of the page and uh, it's one of the most important details on a website page um, but it's also one of the most overlooked uh, areas as well. Um, the reason it's so important is because um, it basically gives uh, Google and the other search engines a very, um, you know, quite a good understanding of exactly what is on the actual page itself. Um, but the other reason it's it's really important for you as a sort of website and a business owner, I assume, is that it's one of the first things that your visitors will see when they're actually looking for your website. Um, just to give you a little demonstration uh, with Google here. Uh, let's say, for example, I was looking for PS3 repair. Close that in. Um, all these sort of uh, texts along this part here, in this case it's purple, obviously I've been to that place before. Um, but you can see these are all these blue links there, 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 and so on and so forth, um, all the way down the page. And um, these are all page titles. And you can see where I typed in PlayStation or PS3 repair that these titles are directly relevant to what I've actually searched for and um, so you can see how the actual um, relation is between what you're searching for and those page titles um, okay let's uh, move on um, with the actual page titles and uh, best practices what to do and um, what you should not be doing okay uh, let's uh, open up uh, Dreamweaver now um, this is what I use for all of my website design. Um, it's pretty good. Um, you know, but obviously use whatever HTML uh, editor you can get your hands on. It doesn't really matter which. Okay, so let's just scroll right up to the top of the actual HTML. This is where the uh, meta tags are located, and um, also the actual page title. Uh, so just highlight it there. Okay, you can see here. Okay, so on this uh, particular site, which is the uh, console work site, we're just looking at the actual uh, index page now, which is um, essentially the home page for the actual website itself. And um, uh, the actual sort of title area, you can see uh, the title is console works, and then we've got PSP repair, comma, PS3 repair, comma, Nintendo repair, and so on. Um, so this is quite a good um, page title for this particular website because it encompasses um, the actual company name and also the general, uh, the most popular um, services that it provides and um, that's what you should be doing in your business. Um, as a general rule I wouldn't normally um, recommend that you would use your company name within your actual page title and the reason is is because not many people will actually search uh, for your website um, or business uh, using your company name unless you're a major brand for example uh, Coca-Cola or Branston Pickle or Google or, or whoever that may be, a lot more people will generally search for wh whatever product or service it is um, that you provide. Um, so so general, as a general rule, um, don't use your actual company name within the actual page title, um, especially on the actual home page. Um, make sure it's the actual page title is focused on your primary products or services and also try not to make the actual page title too long if you have sort of two or three sort of keyword phrases um, th that will be the sort of the, the best use for it um, the other thing that you want to do uh, particularly with the page title is to make sure that each of your website's pages um, has a unique page title um, time and time again I see websites that have um, the same page title across all you know, 20 or 30 of their web pages, and that makes it really difficult for um, the search engines and also people to, um, you know, navigate from the search engines to your website. It makes it really difficult for them to sort of interpret um, what's on those pages. Um, so, um, just to recap, um, don't use your company name within the actual page titles. Uh, just keep it focused on the actual products or services that you're providing, and keep 
and also um, apply unique titles for each and every single page within your website. Okay, just to uh, add a little bit on the uh, end here with regards to the actual page titles, um, at, at the beginning, as I, oh, just a moment ago, I sort of um, describe not using your company name within the actual page title itself. Um, but obviously, that contradicts um, this particular page. Um, the, the, the general rule that you should sort of apply is that if, if people are going to search for your company by the company name, then, then include um, that company name within the page title. Um, but if, if they're not going to search for you actually by typing your company name into a search engine, then you should definitely uh, leave that out. hope it sort of uh, clears that little bit up for you. Okay, so the uh, next thing I want to talk about is the actual page uh, descriptions. And if I just uh, select the actual HTML for the, this particular page here, um, this is the actual page description. And um, uh, this is actually sort of uh, included in, in the HTML, it's sort of all behind the scenes, and, and generally the actual sort of visitor doesn't see it on the actual uh, web page itself. Um, but where they do see it, and it's really important that you sort of um, really make a, a very good use of this is within the actual um, search engine sort of uh, listings and so you can see up here as I uh, talked about just a little bit earlier is the actual page titles um, but the second part that the actual visitor or potential visitor is going to see is this part here and this is the actual page description um, so you can see here so let me just move on to this uh, part here uh, so you can see that the actual description here is exactly the same as what we have here and it's really important as well because uh, the actual visitors will sort of um, they will just when they're searching for something they'll type in whatever they, they want to search for in this case for PS3 repair and then they'll just sort of skim through very very quickly um, you know just you know from your own experience when you do searches how, you know how to search but when you actually sort of think about it you, if you slow it down a little bit to try and think about the actual process that a person will go through. Um, so they're just going to skim through these uh, titles to find out what's most relevant for them. In this case, uh, the, you know, obviously the, the, this listing would sort of stand out. And the next thing they're, they're going to look at is the actual description. Um, so it's really important that you use this space uh, to describe exactly what the actual you're offering as a product or service. Um, so you can see here uh, we've got we repair plate. PS3 and P uh, PlayStation 3, if your PS3 is broken, damaged, dropped or faulty, smashed, um, then we can help. We also offer PlayStation 3 console and then it moves on from there. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what the maximum uh, sort of character length is. Um, I think it's about, I don't know, I would probably say no more than about 20, 20 words will uh, sort of uh, uh, be adequate. Um, if you actually check through the actual sort of Google specs, that there's like a an actual sort of character amount um, but basically it's two lines of text um, so you just want to sort of make the very best uh, use of those uh, two lines of text um, to describe your sort of product or service um, um, the, one of the other things that you also want to do is um, same with the actual sort of page title make sure that this uh, description is unique uh, for each of your website's pages uh, that's really important as well um, so if I just go back to the index page here you can see that it's more um, you know, generalized um, across the actual sort of console repairs, um, and then if we move on to the PlayStation uh, 3 page, it's more sort of focused on PlayStation 3 repairs. And then if I just move on to uh, another sub page from there, um, you can see you know it's PlayStation 3 repairs and the particular kind of fault um, you can see you know uh, from just from that sort of part there. Um, so it's always a very good practice to keep um, use descriptions um, across all of your pages uh, and also keep them unique to the actual content that's on the page. I uh, hope that uh, makes sense for you guys. Okay, so the next thing is the uh, keywords uh, meta tag, uh, which is included within the actual HTML for pages. Um, the, the visitor. Uh,